Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I will be going over how to print all of the autocorrect entries from Microsoft Office and create a auto hotkey script from those entries. Before you run this macro, be sure that you start with a new Word document. The macro sets the tab stops in the current paragraph and then prints each autocorrect entry in the system. This will be useful when we import that data into Excel. And as you will see, the macro runs very fast. So let's get started. Let's go ahead and create this macro. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start a new document. And then go to the developer tab, macros. Give the macro a name, auto correct, and click the create button. I will go ahead and delete all of this. Control V to paste the macro. And I will put the macro in the description as well so you can copy paste it. And do a save. So now that macro is saved. Let's go ahead and run that macro. So going back to the developer and the macro, and here's the new macro that I created. Click the run button and it's done. So it literally took less than two seconds to run, if that. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up some stuff at the bottom and some stuff on the top. So, when I say it will be pulling the autocorrect entries based on Microsoft, these are some of the misspelled words people use. So many people type about with two Bs. This is a good one. If you type in ACN, it will autocorrect it to CAN the right way. So this works in Microsoft Office as it is a built-in feature. So to demonstrate, I'm gonna go ahead and type A-B-B-O-U-T, hit the space key and it fixed it to the way it's supposed to be spelled. Let's do the A-C-N and it converted it to CAN. So you can see how this is going. But what about if you have a regular notepad? So if you type A-B-B-O-U-T, it didn't fix it. A-C-N. So it doesn't know because we haven't created an auto hotkey script for this. But let's go ahead, create that so that way you can have all of these autocorrect words outside of Microsoft, so that way you can have it in the background. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up and I will clean up my list as well. I'm gonna go ahead and press Control A to select all and copy. Let's go jump over to Excel to cell A1 and do a control V to paste. And here's our words. So now I'm gonna run a concatenate function that will concatenate these two words in a auto hotkey format. So the function goes as following, concatenate, C colon first word, comma, double quote, colon, colon, B1. So this is the function you wanna run to grab these two and plug in the colon, C colon, and the colon, colon in between. I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter. A neat trick in Excel, uh, if you go down here in the bottom 
and you double click it while it changes to this plus sign this function will run all the way through the bottom and we can see that there's 909 words out there so another one let's go ahead and fix the uppercase as well because auto hotkey won't know if you type in the capital a or a capital c a n whereas microsoft does what i mean by that is if i go here and i type in c a n see how microsoft automatically corrected it um, so we have to catch that for auto hotkey which it's, it's easy to do we'll just go ahead and copy this same tab over so here's our copy here's our original let me go ahead and delete this for simplicity reasons now i'm gonna go ahead and let me highlight this and do a plus plus control plus plus it will add two new columns and now i'm gonna go ahead and i'll leave this one here let me run this function to capitalize only the first letter of the word replace lower a1 comma 1 comma 1 upper a1 comma 1 and then we'll be closing the brackets and what did we do here upper i forgot the left so you can tell that it capitalizes the first letter and we can do the same thing we'll just copy this function paste it in here but this time we'll be replacing instead of a1 we'll give it b1 and send it down and now we will grab these two values i'm gonna go ahead and fix this as well c1 and d1 and send it down okay let me go ahead and hide this stuff so now i have my uppercase and my lowercase list i'm gonna go ahead and copy okay and i'm just gonna put a break mark comment to know that the first section is uppercase and this one is lowercase and you end this with a return let's go ahead and save this file as a ahk file so save as and we'll plug it into this one auto correct dot ahk very important that you save the file as a dot ahk so it will tell the system that it is a auto hotkey script file let's do a save yes and now we have the file in the background I'm gonna go ahead and double click on that file to initiate it and now it is active in the background let me show you now that this will work the way it was supposed to let me go to the lowercase we'll test both scenarios so if i type in a b b o u t and it fixed it in the notepad let's do a c n okay that works 
What about if I capitalize A B B O U T? It works for that. A C N and it works. So there you go. Now you have a auto hotkey that will auto correct the most misspelled words out there. And if you have more, you can add them to your list. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel because I am building up my, my channel and I will start putting out more auto hotkey scripts and other Windows tips and tricks. So stay tuned and thank you for watching.